Come Listen, y'all. Some point. I want everybody who might not be up on this to listen to me. The corporations and wicked men in charge of this country are sitting back at a table laughing like, I can't believe we got these motherfuckers arguing this. No, they yeah. got to pet themselves on the back. People are actually arguing with people about whether they are a man or a woman. <laughs> I grew up in Chicago. I am not saying I rooted for this. Mm -mm. In fact, I didn't root for this, but this is how we grew up in Chicago. I'm talking about in the 80s. Just keeping it real. When I was a little youngster, that was my high school days. I used to watch what happened when men who dress like women show up anywhere. They would get moved on. On sight, motherfuckers be like, get them. Yeah. Right. People just didn't know how to. They didn't know how to act with that. So yeah, it was it was all wait what? It wasn't like, none of them bold enough to stand up and say, I am a woman. Because when they was getting want to be a woman. the business, they was like, ouch. Hilarious. But now Not, I'm a woman. we live in a time <laughs> where people are arguing if a man is a woman. And if a woman is a man, this is the saddest time. It, I mean, like it's just getting worse. We going further and further down the rabbit hole. And it's going to get even worse. It's called social engineering. It's going to get a lot worse, man. This is, if you know who Zbigniew uh, Brzezinski is, the guy that wrote the grand chessboard, they laid all this out right from the 70s. This has been planned. And it's been carried out way since then till now. So it's about forgetting about the previous generation and focusing on the youth, the kids coming. If you can capture them mentally, you own the future. Because the current generation and previous generation are going to die out. The next generation is what they want. They want the minds of the kids. So that's why I wasn't bad back then because this generation hadn't grown up and the people who are pushing this agenda are laughing that their plan is working <laughs> a man is a man a woman is a woman and i'm gonna tell y'all like this if you are arguing with a man <laughs> who has on a dressing lipstick you are fucking your life up that person is uh, that person is absolutely insane mm -hmm. a man dressed like a woman claiming a woman is an insane person you like the saying goes you have to be crazy to be arguing with a crazy person you should not be arguing with them i mean if somebody want to chime in they can i'm just saying it's like the world is going bad man yeah. I, and if i can't say this because i, I want to make sure i make this point the reason there are cowards who might post the argument that's online but not speak on it is because those men work for the company all the men who work for the company can't really speak on whether a man is a man or whether a woman is a woman. Because they work for the man. They work for the man that's responsible for pushing the agenda. So they work for him. You can't go go, get, uh, go against your boss. You're going to get, <laughs> you're going to get a, a very heavy hand. That's why someone like a Kevin Hart or one of these people that seen Jesse Larius come under fire from this crazy rainbow coalition kevin Hart's not going to say nothing because he knows where his bread is buttered he's a company man they know they will lose their job so because you lose your job for not going along with the agenda these wicked people in charge of the nation got the world by their nuts right. where men and women are arguing about what a man versus a woman is it's man. insane yeah man you know there's a chemical don't want to normalize all this demonic and crazy stuff they're desperate to normalize it because this is the culture and the way of life of the elites those secret parties they have up in the mountains and beverly hills and all this is what they do and they, they're trying to normalize it that's why they call in pedophiles now the oh it's, there's a derogatory term now if you call them that you have to call them minor attracted persons what if there's any person that don't need no protection is a pedo 
they should be shot on sight. That's my beliefs. Might not attract this person. Man, get out of here. In our body called pro uh, makes the end. You can have. I you said, man, right. I'm trying to cut you off. My bad, Craig. I want yeah. you to make your point. Land. My point is this. I mean, I forgot it. <laughs> that nigga me off. I, got my boy. I fucked you oh up. God. That's what I be. You know, sometimes we do that, but it's not on purpose. I wanted yeah. you to land. My bad. Yeah. If you think of it, let me know. It's gonna come back, right? I mean, now. but the man has the XY chromosome, and the woman has the XX chromosome. It's, it's, it's not really hard to decipher. They can just try to change the shit based upon society. Oh, oh, well, well, you know, uh, this. Watch people need to know, or Americans need to know, that they don't. Is empires have about a three hundred year lifespan. At best. So America is past due. This is like last stages. It can't. You can't go back to the glory days. Oh, when you no know, such in, in very well industrialized country, all those jobs and everything. Now they've shipped it all to China, and it, it's not coming back, man. The glory days, all those that's, those days are gone. It's gone. They're going to shift the power and everything the wealth it's gonna divert that somewhere else about Corey Holcomb one thing is my kryptonite I can't argue with a man in a dress no, I can't argue with a man who got on dress lipstick dress like a girl that's one thing that will you can say whatever you want to say about me I will pause it let you finish and move on the only thing I know how to do with a man in a dress is Mortal Kombat that's the only thing I know what to do. That's why I be quiet. I be like, oh, I ain't finna argue with you. I'm not finna, we not finna do that. But a lot of those guys want you to address them as she. And I be like, I will never in my life address a man in a dress and some makeup a she. Never do that. Never try to make them control what you say. Control your language. We think in language. So if they can get someone to say what they want, how they want you to say, to get you self-censored, or there's words you can't say, these words are outlaw, that's what's outlaw. You can't think no more. You dream in language, whatever your native tongue is. That's how you think in your language, in English or whatever. The more words they chip away and that you can't say, the less thinking capacity capacity you have it's all about controlling you you don't get this now people people still don't understand this right now i don't know what you want uh, we can't communicate like this we can we communicate with respect or war yeah it ain't no in between with a nigga with a dread on. i know something wrong with my brother so i have to have patience if your little daughter who's six years old go in the bathroom, a public bathroom at Walmart, and one of them dudes with a dress on and some lipstick <laughs> try to go in the bathroom after her. Uh, that's war right there. <laughs> it's going to get dealt with fast. Jazzy Jeffed out the door. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> ah! Hold on, hold on. I'm he getting Jazzy Jeffed out the door. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> ah! Hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell him. My daughter in there, you got to wait. Yeah, you got to wait. I don't care about what comes after that. You ain't finna be in there with my daughter, cause if anything happened to my daughter with a man in the woman's bathroom, I man, I got to go on here and get that bail money. Well, that's together. why they made those family bathrooms, thank goodness, cause they made those right after my kid was already older. Cause ain't I used to have to go in the bathroom. Shut no bathroom with no people. insane man. People keep saying they don't care. It, it, they don't it's care enough. About, but it's listen, gonna affect your is, life eventually. It is. It's gonna impede on just your like life. Just like that canceling stuff. Just like the sensitivity stuff. All that stuff. It all comes full circle. And you gotta care about something. You have to care. You really have to care. This whole nonchalant attitude like, oh, it's none of my business, not my family, I don't care. Uh, you live in this, in this society. You, these, these are the people you live with. <laughs> we live it every day. It's the people you see every day. These are the people that interact with your kids. Every day. Unless you're living in an island somewhere where it's just you and your family and nobody else, then fine. But if we're all living under the same umbrella, I'm going to have to care. You know. Because what you do, what you don't do, is directly going to affect me because we're in the same community. So I have to care. We talking about the sister, Jess Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Jess Hilarious was going in 
on the insane man. Mm -hmm. Because society is fucked up. Even though Jesse hilarious points were, in my opinion, on point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Our sister is still lost because she bust down with her child for publicity. Oh, yeah, that's true. A couple of years ago, the same comedian, Jess Hilarious, had a nude photo shoot with her baby, a naked photo shoot with, with her little baby. Insane. Insane. So it doesn't matter how this woman tries to you know, act right. They still have that modern woman Jezebel tendency in there. Nobody's perfect, yeah, but you know. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see how out of whack we are in society? Mm. Right. Like, you be like, yeah, that's good, but it's like a person who will be like, I don't eat meat, but I look out the back of somebody's ass. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You think that because I ate this pork chop, you better than me, right. and you put your tongue in an asshole. Right. Society out of whack. <laughs> 